What's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews. And I apologize for leaving the scene for a while from iPad land, but I got a lot of stuff going on, and, and we are coming back. We got a full new studio set up. It'll be coming very shortly, so please stay tuned for that. And thank everybody for, for the support through this little time right here. All right, so we do want to talk Apple iPad Pro and the new M2 that has been rumored. So is it gonna be worth you upgrading if you have the M1 or should you just wait maybe a few years later? So let's talk. By creating an imaginary picture, usually it's something that moves. All right, so for those of you who have an iPad Pro, anything less than the um, last year's model with the M1 processor in it. It is going to be great for you to upgrade to that M2, or you can wait for the M1 price to drop and just upgrade to one of these. But to take full advantage of iOS 16 and this beautiful um, software that they built in, Stage Manager, which gives you a lot of free reign when it comes to your monitors and things of that nature, you are going to have to have an M chip in your device for it to take full advantage of Stage Manager. Just keep that in mind. Now, for those of you who are new here and new to the game of iPad, Stage Manager is gonna allow you to basically create these little windows, pick the window that you want. It's gonna just basically come out here. You can resize these, you can reshape them, you can add up to four of these at one time. So let's just scroll through what we got open and we don't like that. So we're gonna open this one as well and we'll just re-scroll. So it's, it's tons of different things that you can do, but it's still the Apple ecosystem. So just keep that in mind. None of this other stuff is going to change. Your icons are gonna stay the same. You still can't use your Apple Watch with this device, which is one of the biggest downfalls, I say, because you will have more people buying Apple Watches to use with their iPad versus just having to buy an iPhone to use their Apple Watch with. I would love to have an Apple Watch application built right into iPad OS, which would make it easier for people who might like myself who carry Android phones and Apple phones or who swap between these devices. It will make it easier for us to just keep this on hand and use our Apple Watch. And speaking of watches, this is the Ultra. I have had it since it came out. I just have not had a chance to put together any information on it right now. Got a lot of stuff, like big stuff going on behind the scenes. So um, just stay tuned to the channel. We got some changes coming, things like that. I did just want to put out this quick little PSA though. Uh, new iPads may be on the way. So to take full advantage of everything that iPad OS 16 has to offer, you're going to have to have an M device, whether it is M1, M2, you gotta have one of these. So keep that in mind. If you're thinking about upgrading, just hang out, lay low right now. M2 should be on the way, if not later this year, in a few weeks or spring of next year. Uh, but it seems like we're gonna get an announcement very, very shortly. So, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully that device will be able to show up sometime or another, make a debut, and we'll be able to do some comparisons and see what we like about it. But like we said, if you really want to take full advantage of iPadOS 16, you're going to have to upgrade. You'll still get some of those other little features, and there are some things that they left out. So once we come out of this whole beta thing, we're gonna, we're gonna dive right into it and make sure we got the best information and the best things possible for your device. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. And until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.